Hey guys, it's Dawn from Puka and Lashonda from Naya. And we're back again uh, doing another combo video. We like to call ourselves soap and butter. All right, if that's corny, <laughs> she came up with it. <laughs> if it works, then it was me. No. Um, we're going to talk today about Game of Thrones. I love Game of Thrones. Because we are like all into Game of Thrones. So we're going to give you today 10 things that we learned from Game of Thrones. Alright. Well, first of all, where is Game of Thrones? So this is a spoiler. If you don't watch it or you haven't watched it or you're not up to date, you might want to exit right now and come back in about um, six minutes in because we're going to be talking about something else important. But um, where they are now is Arya just came home and uh, Bran is home. So almost all of the kids are yeah. home, but Jon Snow hasn't seen them yet. Nope. So he hasn't, and he and, he and Arya were really close, because yeah. she was cool with him. Um, what's the name, the older sister, she was always staying to him. So, Sansa. Sansa, Sansa. right, Sansa. So that's really cool. Um, it's, I, I just love Game of Thrones. I, I'm a Walking Dead head, and oh, we gotta do Walking Dead. I like Walking Dead too. Woo! <laughs> Next video, Walking Dead. I'm a walk. I'm a dead head. But it's not um, back yet, is it? No, it's not okay, back to October. October. Um, so, oh, maybe we'll do our next video dressed like zombies. <laughs> I'll try that. Um, but we love Game of Thrones. I love Game of Thrones. So we're gonna go through now. We're just gonna take turns. We don't know what we've each learned from Game of Thrones. So we're gonna do I'm a ten crazy things. <laughs> And we're gonna go back and forth. You wanna go first or you want me to go I'll, first? I'll go first. Alright. LaShonda, what's the first thing that you've learned from watching Game of Thrones? Well, Arya, even though she's a little warrior, she's always been a little warrior. So her gifts were actually visible when she was a little girl. I remember back to the first episode, she was always fighting. Right. You know, she wanted right. to have the sword. So just recognizing your gifts early and nurturing them and see where she is now, she can just get you and you don't even know it. She's, and she's what, a teenager? <laughs> so nourishing and nurturing and just working on your gifts. Okay, I can tell you right now, you will probably learn some things from LaShonda's five things. <laughs> My number one thing I learned from Game of Thrones is I need a dragon. So, you ain't gonna learn too much from me. I'm not gonna kill anybody or burn anybody up with my dragon, but for people who maybe get on my nerves, maybe I'll just like burn their car or just burn their garden. I would never burn their home or burn people, but I would just burn little things. So, number one thing I learned is I need a dragon. <laughs> you were so bad. Look, I didn't know she was gonna make her inspirational. You wait till the next taping. All right, what's your number two? Well, I have two and three. Okay. Together, all right. it's the same guy. I can't remember his name, but he was the maester. He he wanted to become a maester. Oh, the the uh, medical guy. Yeah. Sean something. Yeah, I can't, I remember. can't remember. He him. was in the, the Night Watch. Yeah, but he went to go with the books and learn. Yes. And okay, yep, yes. yep. So, we know that guy. Um, the one thing about him was that he he pursued his passion even though his family did not agree with him. So. <laughs> So he can, you know, I right. mean, his father had expectations of him and never really recognized who he really was if he, if he saw the book part of him, because right. he liked to read and things, but instead he wanted him to be something else, but yeah, he, he couldn't change, he tried, but he couldn't change who he, he was, was, who he was, he was who he was, <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> my number two <laughs> They could be pointed. <laughs> I need a do-over. <laughs> Look, every time somebody drinks something in Game of Thrones, they die. <laughs> There's always poison and stuff like this. So we share the studio together. Sometimes it's time to be like, oh, you want to try my drink? Mm -mm. No. I don't know what's in it. So ladies, if you're out at the bar, <laughs> I got to make this into a learning lesson. If you're out at the bar, out of, on a yeah. date, or serious. yeah, the only place you can drink from a cup without worrying about it is at church when you have communion. <laughs> ah, look how I turned that around. Okay. <laughs> What's number three or four well, of your knowledgeable lessons, LaShonda? The same maester guy, <laughs> Sean, whatever his name is, mm -hmm. but um, he just has a, a, a genuine spirit. Like he listens to himself. He follows his heart, even though other people, once again, I guess it's kind of like the same one in the beginning, but I'm just kind of thinking about the last part where he healed the guy. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he didn't listen to <laughs> And so he always just, and then he, le and then he leaves, 
you know, he doesn't stay in that place. He moves on. So, if, if, and he takes his family with him. And I guess I could say even his wife. I guess, did he ever marry her? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> well, well, no, I don't know if they well, ever married He's taking her child as yeah. his own. And so, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and but he, I guess for her, she's been just follows him. She she sees who he is and knows who he is. And, and, and she follows <laughs> him. <laughs> <laughs> we should have read each other's answers first. I look like an idiot, okay? My number three is we all need to buy horses. <laughs> they save on gas. You know, you know what? That's good. You don't have to worry about parking them anywhere. But you and you have to pick up their poop. Oh, oh yeah. well, you're gonna get a poop yeah, bag. Yeah, that's You get a poop bag, bag, but we can feed them like natural grains and things. They're easy to park because people just leave them, <laughs> and you can actually just. You know, go get somebody else's horse if you just see it sitting outside because that's what they do on Game of Thrones. So, yeah, go on with your next one, LaShonda. Yeah. All right, Daenerys. Daenerys? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. She's the dragon lady. She's the dragon lady. <laughs> You're dragon So you lady. did talk about dragons, um, okay. Uh, I, what I like about her is that even though she'll always follow, she does seek counsel from people that she trusts. So... <laughs> I should have so, seek counsel before I did this video. Okay. You know, you should... Find people, especially if you're in business. Um, it helps me if, if you're in business to find some people that you can talk to, um, that you trust, and not just going to go ahead and just um, you know me, 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 LaShonda, me, me. talk about okay. talk about you behind your back. <laughs> or or to your first or you video. with dragons, mm -hmm. with their dragons. Just your gardens and your cars, <laughs> not you. So um, I think that's what I like about. Them. You, know, you should seek counsel, godly counsel if you can. <laughs> she got no god in there. But I did talk about communion before. Right? <laughs> Alright, now my number four is we need to all find a friend who might be a three-eyed raven. Okay, because you need to have friends who can tell you what's coming down the pike and can read the future. So if you see your friend and they're rolling their eyes back, <laughs> it may not be because they have an attitude, they may be turning into the three-eyed raven. So at that point, you might want to ask them if they know something about your future. <laughs> okay. I think I would run if I saw I'm that. So trying, yeah, I'm, trying to change, I'm trying to make my answer seem like all knowledgeable and helpful now because she's all serious. So there wasn't really too many ways I can change the three-eyed raven. Um, and I probably, if I saw somebody roll their eyes like that and get a little eye in the top of their head, I'd be scared. <laughs> All right, LaShonda, let's wrap it up. What's number five on your inspirational list of things to help people? Jon Snow, our man, Jon Snow, he's cute. He's so cute. Aww. He's tiny. I think you can put him in the pocket. <laughs> he's a little warrior. He's a little warrior. But um, having values and standing for them, you know, he refused to bend the knee to Daenerys. Yeah, so, that's true. you know, even knowing that it could cost him his life because she has yeah. those fiery dragons and those. Those are um, soiled, not soiled, the warriors, okay. Oh, um, Sully's, the Sully's. Yeah, <laughs> them, the, oh yeah. And the, what's the, the, her husband, what's the clan he was from? Oh, um, mm, Darthrathian or something. Darthrathian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my number five is training. Everybody on Game of Thrones trains. <laughs> they train. For sword fighting or whatever it is they're doing. So whatever it is you need to do, you need to train well. And I like to think that since you're all following us, you would like to train to be an entrepreneur or train to be a little healthier. How could you train to be healthy, LaShonda? I think, um, uh, seriously? Seriously? No, see, I just segued her in. You could train to be healthy. Well, I think, seriously, oh, oh. you know, if she had more friends and she can go out and hang out with those friends, she could, At you make, know, And maybe they can make things they together? They can make things together. Oh. They can make polish. Right. They can make nail polish, body polish, Good candles, yeah. soap. Maybe she wouldn't be so stressed out. Exactly. You know, use essential oils and maybe some lavender, peppermint. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe she wouldn't be so mean and vicious and just want to kill That her. was a good tag team right there. <laughs> In other words, you need to come and take one of our DIY classes. And show us you have some friends. And show us that you have some friends. <laughs> so that is our Game of Thrones 10 Things You Can Learn. And... Our last one, like we said, is to come and take some classes and hang out with us. We're fun, right? Yes. You can take LaShonda's Soap and Sip, uh, my Pinot and Polish, and, or Kim's 
uh, candles, cocktails, and, and conversations. conversations. There's lots to do. All the information is below. So leave us a comment and let it, let us know if you like our um, Game of Thrones. And tell us what you like about Game of Thrones. What have you learned since watching? Do you have a list like on the line? Look. Please. <laughs> We're good. Thanks. <laughs> That's on her list. Make your friends here when they mess up. And let us know what other shows you would like us to give you tips from. Maybe we'll always give tips from shows because we can learn a lot from shows and books and things like that. Definitely. I'll try next time to be a little more serious. Until next time. Until then, check the links below. Bye. Bye. -bye.